Hello and welcome to X and Y Gaming Casually Competitive Impromptu Yu-Gi-Oh! This last time we talked about all of these other ones that I'm taking off currently. Those three. And I said I'd talk about Bandit Keith today. So let's go ahead and move all these bad boys over. Back off the lot. So Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith has spellproof armor, which keeps your monsters from being destroyed by your opponent's spell cards. Heavy Metal Raiders, which is treated like a field spell. And any time a dark machine monster, at least the first time per turn, that it would be destroyed by battle, it's not. And if it's not, it, it is not destroyed, but if you took battle damage from it, that monster gains that attack. It gains as much attack as the damage you lost. For as long as this stays on the field, which again, it's it's treated like a field spell. So, you know, if it gets like, um, I was going to say MST'd, but I don't, that's not a spell. That's not a speed duel card. Uh, Bandit, my points are 1,500 or less to activate a skill. Take control of a, a set card, your opponent, whatever, who cares. You know, the, the two that I built this around is either Heavy Metal Raiders or Spellproof Armor. Uh, and actually, usually it's Spellproof Armor. Because all machine monsters you control. Nope. Here, you can normal summon machine monster, normal monsters. Really, only normal monsters? I thought it was any machines. Oh my god, I am not. I am not batting a thousand today. Let me tell you what. Any normal machine, normal monsters cost one less to tribute. So, we'll get to that part in a minute. But you know, between these two, these are the these are the two spell cards you want to use. And this one, if you do use it. You get you skip drawing a card the first time. So like if you go first, the first turn in the entire duel, you don't draw a card anyways. That doesn't count. Then your opponent goes, they draw a card. Then you go, you don't draw a card. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's steep, but um, it is what it is. So we're gonna talk about spellproof armor, but uh, just in case, do heavy metal raiders too. Put them both. We'll put them both down there. But uh. Especially if you do Heavy Metal Raiders, you run three deck Waichi, so that you can hopefully recoup at least one of those cards. Three Blast Sphere, which Heavy Metal Raiders will not stop Blast Sphere's effect from going off. That just... That's not how that happens. That's not how that works. His effect goes off before damage calculation, so you wouldn't have to worry about it being destroyed to take effect to not destroy. You know what I mean? Uh, with Spellproof Armor, the Pendulum Machine is 1750 attack for normally one tribute, but that would make it none. Um, now I feel really dumb, like really dumb, because I wanted to give him his, his, uh, I wanted to give him his traditional boss monster. So there's a Barrel Dragon. I almost called it Boral Dragon earlier today. <laughs> But uh, there's a barrel dragon. I honestly, I'm still working on getting all of the things worked out for this deck. But uh, so far it's pretty good. I like it anyways. I gave him two night beams. Because I, I pulled these out of the set that I got all of these in. So I'm like, well, they seem to go together. They might as well. To help combat the minus one draw for heavy metal raiders, there are two break draws. Which basically states... If a machine monster, or you can only go to a machine monster, but if the quick monster destroys an opponent's monster battle and also sends it to the graveyard, draw a card. Uh, and then break draw gets destroyed at the end of the third turn after activation. So, that's a thing. But it's all hopefully to get Heavy Metal Raiders basically to recoup it. Uh, two, seven completed. Maybe, maybe run three, seven, and one break draw. I'm not sure. Still working on the ratios, but this is what, what I've gotten so far. And again, this is all casually competitive, using only cards I pulled. Uh, so that's why there's... You're going to see a lot of these. There are a lot of security orbs going on through here. And I also want to point out that if you night beam a security orb, security orb states... Um, security orb states if your opponent attacks... You turn that attacker into defense position. Also, 
if this card, while it's set down on the field, gets destroyed, then um, you can destroy an opponent's monster in return. So even if you night beam it, like your opponent night beams your security orb, you still could destroy one of their monsters because night beam says your opponent can't activate the set card they target in response to being targeted for destruction. They can't they can't activate in response, right? But you're not activating security orb in response to it being targeted by night beam. Night beam goes off, destroys it, and then security orb being destroyed while being set is in turn what sets off its a that allows you to destroy a monster. It's technical, I know. But there's also two Metamorph. I'm pretty sure I have three copies of Metamorph, actually. It's pretty impressive, but I decided to only put two in here. So sue me. Uh, and please don't. I can't afford it. So there you go. Between... Just, don't, use ban don't use Bandit. Between Spellproof Armor and Heavy Metal Raiders... There's there's the Bandit Keith deck. I like it. Did you like it? Will you please like the video? <laughs> Hit the like button. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hug your mama. Tell me what you did or did not like about it in the comments below. I personally liked the Metal Morph. That was just that was just my favorite card. And uh, there you go. I think in the next video I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Grave Keepers. I guess why not. They're alright. They're not awful. They're pretty bad. <laughs>